So, um, you know, a lot of people, I, I've been preaching the same thing for three, four years to people. And I keep saying where we are in the world of social media these days, it's no longer just being a good arm wrestler because we all know there's hundreds of good arm wrestlers across the nation. You know, you got to do both. You got to self-promote. It can't be a hermit. You can't just be the man in your little area of your bubble and then expect all these big names to go and honor a match with you when you're in your own little bubble. And uh, one of those uh, things that was, uh, you know, Larray Jenkins has been doing great things with the round robin. I know he, they had a little fallout. He's going to be separating from beast mode arm wrestling and all and doing his own thing. But um, there was a post that he just put out there and it got a lot of traction. And uh, he put up uh, Auden Lorette against the stud over there, Landon Anderson. And, you know, they were trying to, to push this match and all. And when I seen it, I was just like, yo, I could tell from the post and all the people that believe in Landon, you know, everybody, 99% of them saying that Landon would destroy Auden and all. And Landon, supposedly, I think he's a 19-year-old. He's the number one in the country, they were saying. I'm not sure if that's confirmed or whatever. But I was trying to, like, explain to them what it would take for that to happen so that we don't have to just say what if anymore. We could actually put it in action. I'm a promoter. I'm a businessman. I threw mega, mega uh, concerts for, you know, famous hip hop stars. I know how to self promote. I was also a fitness model. I understand social media. Some of these guys still are not getting it. And I just keep saying the same thing. So then I started getting attacked over under this post. Everybody's like taking me as the bad guy. And I'm like, dude, I'm just explaining what it's going to take. You know, it doesn't make sense when I look at that for Auden to take a match like that because it's a lose-lose situation. You know, Landon might be a great arm wrestler, but, you know, the only people that know him is in his area. I mean, he's very well known in that area, but, you know, Auden's worldwide known now. I know he, he's the king's son. He's the prince of arm wrestling, practically. And a lot of people were taking offense to that, calling him the Jake Paul of arm wrestling. And I first want to say, Big difference between boxing and arm wrestling. Jake Paul's making $30 million. You know, us arm wrestlers are lucky to get a couple hundred dollars in a free flight. So, you know, when some of the guys were saying, you know, Jake Paul, well, first off, guys, Jake Paul in boxing, he's sitting in his $30 million mansion. The only problem he has every day is to match his outfit to his supercar that's sitting in his garage. So I don't think he cares what the purest boxer thinks, you know? So it's kind of like the same with arm wrestling in, in that aspect. You know, Odin's getting, he, he could cherry pick whatever matches he wants, you know? And it seems like they're going on a path of getting him out there and popular worldwide. And as he's doing that, he's growing his ability as an arm wrestler, you know? And he's not necessarily targeting other big time arm wrestlers that are really good but he's getting experience on the big stage he's got his father that's training with him every day and i mean he's leveling up his trajectory is just going straight up so i was just explaining if you want that match to happen making a post like that's not going to make it happen and it's obvious because if it would Auden would have answered back right away i mean there are probably 100 tags that they tagged Auden, and there was no response so what i was saying the way to get that to happen um, to uh, Larray and his team and all, pull your money together, man. If you really believe in the kid, everybody throw a couple hundred dollars up. And now we got a nice sum of money that we can now make a video and call out Odin that way. And maybe that will get his intention. You know, maybe not also, you know, because he's on a hype train right now and a loss could slow all that progress down. I know he's got a big match coming up against the Korean Hulk. You know, that's going to be another big, you know, um, following he's going to get from there. You know, uh, the uh, South Korea, he's got a big arm wrestling following. So I think they're kind of targeting that. He just got that win against James English, which was in the fitness world. So he got a lot of fitness eyes on him, you know, and before that he had uh, the whisper, which that is probably one of the most popular arm wrestlers on the planet. So, you know, he's cherry picking right now. It's pretty obvious. And I know a lot of the you know, the real true purist arm wrestlers are taking offense to it, but you can't blame him, man. You know, this is kind of a business. He's building a brand. He's getting out there and he's also getting a lot of experience. But I wanted to get your guys thoughts on that. So, Israel, what's your thoughts on, you know, um, Odin kind of cherry picking? And do you think he should take on a match with Landon Anderson that, you know, is a hungry up and coming lion, 19 years old, one of the best in the country? Or, you know, are they going to have to put up something to make it more appetizing for, you know, Odin to want to jump on that?
First of all, is my mic getting any better? Is it any better? It, it's yeah, it's getting there. We're getting there. Okay. It's a little bit. We don't got an echo, but we got a little. But it's all good. Let, let's go. Well, I think that uh, Landon would be a great match in terms of arm wrestling, but I also understand, you know, his trajectory and the way he wants to go. I mean, his dad's a celebrity. He's got a million subscribers on YouTube. How can you not, you know, want to get in on some of that and bank in on some of that? You can't hate the kid too much, and you know, he is his son. Who better to do it? So, um, you know, I do think he should maybe find a way to incorporate like a real match like that because you can't just live off of celebrity matches if he wants to be a real arm wrestler, you know? Maybe giving Landon would be a chance would be like uh, the smart thing to do and it would give him something serious to prepare for, you know? Yeah, I get it. But you also got to remember, man, you got probably about 500 people that are calling him out. And, you know, I just seen he doesn't he hasn't even been making much videos lately. You know, at first I thought he was living off the YouTube money and all. But I just looked before we came on the show and he's really not even, you know, putting out many videos out there. But any video that he does, if you go through the comments, I mean, they're all just calling, they're coming from him. He's, he's got the target on the back of his head. You know, I'm sure every day he wakes up, his inbox probably got about 200 challenge matches that they're offering and people putting up money. Because, I mean, you know, I, I had the same thing. You know, I get a lot of people calling me out and, you know, it's and I'm not even near what audience, the, you know, following is or anything like that. So I could just imagine. So, I mean, you got to you got to stick out from the crowd. You, you got to be something different So if I was landing, you know, not only to get the pool, the money together, so you need to start making some videos, bro. Get out there on YouTube. Get out. Even if you don't want to make the YouTube, you don't understand that part of it. Get out on Facebook, man. Start making some training videos. Start putting out your past matches. Build the hype yourself. You know, it's pretty easy. You just got to put in some time. Got to be patient. And then from that, people are going to start clamoring all the time. And then every video that Auden puts out, they're going to be mentioning your name. And then after seeing that, you know, he's finally going to get fed up and be like, all right, dude, I'm finally going to take this on. But, you know, just coming out there and just saying, because I'm a good arm wrestler, I deserve that match. I disagree, man. You got to put in the time with this. You know, it, it's the new age. You know, that's how it happens. And the other thing is they they threw out the name John Brzezink. You know, how did John get out there? Well, if you look back, John wasn't in the social media stage um, time. But what did John do that is different than everybody else? He traveled everywhere. He went to all the challenges all over the world. You know, he really went after it. You know, so Landon, that's the next thing. You're, you're in your little area. You're the man over there. Start jumping on a plane. Start hitting up these other tournaments. Get over to Texas. Get over to the West Coast. You know, get over to the East Coast. Just start getting your name out there. And a guy that comes to mind um, that's been doing that very well is uh, John Therian. You know, that dude is he's out everywhere, you know, and his name is starting to ring bells everywhere. And I remember like a year ago, not many people knew of him. You know, they just knew he was from Canada and all. Now, almost every big event, he's got a super match. And, you know, he's going to be going against Hunter Knopf that, uh, you know, is supposed to be on here tonight. And, uh, you know, I was wanted to talk about that. But that's a good example of the f to watch somebody, you know, and he's not even that big on social media, but he's traveling and he's getting his name out there. And uh, so, Dustin. What's your thoughts on that whole situation, man? Can you give maybe Landon some tips on how to, to, to lock in a match like that? Yeah, I mean, let's give all of like, okay, let's, so the Prince wins and the Prince gets 70 new fans or something that are the fans of Landon, right? Like, fucking woo-woo, real cool. <laughs> um, This is not a diss towards Landon. Landon's legit and he's young, super cool to see. His tendon strength is going to be out of this realm at fucking 27 years old. But Langdon, all these guys are willing to put up money for you. All these people, they got to do what they did for, for Caleb Armbender and give them the money and send them to Texas State. Give them the money and send them to Arizona State. Like, let's go to these tournaments, Langdon. Let's, Dad, Leroy Jenkins, the fam, all these fans of yours, man, you got some hardcore ones. That's so cool. You got a lot of people riding for you. Let's get a little bit of a GoFundMe up. Go fund me for a very specific event and then film your entire event journey. Film your room when you get there. Film your weight cut. Film your nutrition on the way in, how you peak. Be super, super involved with what you're doing with the money that was given to you and how you prepare for events specifically and show everybody what it takes to be a champion and win. 
you'll make yourself undeniable, just like John Theron. And I'm going to throw a, throw it out there for you too, Landon. Um, anybody that knows Landon, hit him up, let him know. He's invited on the next Arm Wrestling Buzz show next Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. There you go. You got your invite, bro. That's a good way to get yourself out there. We got all the organizations, all the promoters watching this here. We want to hear from you. I, I want to learn about you. I don't know much about you. I, I see the people in your area really, truly believe in you. So you obviously got to be something special. I know you're 19 years old. I'm definitely interested in learning about you. But I want to hear from Hollywood Matt. Here, here's another big organization owner. He uh, owns AWE, which I'm representing proudly today and uh what's your thoughts on this for landing man yeah absolutely anytime that you can get an audience or a following if uh, you're approaching a promoter as as uh dustin said that's the first thing they're going to be looking at is uh well what what can you bring to my event that's going to get people to come here to to want to see it to be able to sell tickets to get interest in in watching my my promotion and if you've got a big following, if you've got something to bring or some thing that is uh, like an X factor or, or whatever, the, it's sort of like that Hunt and Offs thing. That I, I'm seeing him as like maybe a potential superstar of the sport. He's got that charismatic uh, appeal and, you know, he's, he's crazy good on the table as well. And it's you've got that formula that you can add to a promotion. And then they say, well, if we put this person on, it's going to bring a lot more attention to what we're doing. We've got to get more uh, people that are going to watch, maybe sell more pay-per-views, uh, get more people in attendance and bring more prestige and more interest into what we're trying to make happen. Uh, to be able to do that, yeah, it takes a lot of time. It takes effort. It, you know, If you are trying to build up on social media, it is not an easy thing to do. Or to, yeah, as we said, the, the, the barrier of entry is low, but mastering it and building an audience it takes a lot of work and a long time period of time so keeping well in tournaments and and that sort of thing is great but if you want to stand out from the crowd because you think how many tournaments are there every weekend across the country and just in north america there's probably like four or five if you if you're one of the winners and it's like the next weekend they've already forgotten about you so you're gonna to have to do something different to make yourself get noticed and for people like Auden Lorat, who's in a position where um you know, his, his father is obviously the number one most recognized guy in the world in terms of arm wrestling. So he has that benefit built in. Uh, and, you know, he's he's funny, he's charismatic, he, he's got um, a, an interesting personality, and he's a good arm wrestler as well. And so if, you're, if he's going to take a match with you, it's like, well, what's the benefit for him? You know, you've got to either be more popular than him, a better arm wrestler that is going to be have some sort of absolute crazy war that everyone's demanding to see you know if, if the people are all demanding hey we want to see you versus this guy and that's the match and we're all keen for that but they're not going to do that unless everyone sort of knows your story or has you've built that following so it it, it really does take a lot of effort to put yourself in those positions and a lot of self-promotion um, you know, going on shows, just doing your own stuff, putting stuff out on social media all the time. I mean, you look at Arm Wrestling Whisperer. I mean, he's a good arm wrestler, but he's not an elite arm wrestler. But he's he's uh, <laughs> he's 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 not terrible. But um, he's a master he, of social media, though. Literally, exactly. Yeah, that's right. So he's I, I had him. On, I had him on the show back in the day, and I. Uh, he really studied, you know, this whole YouTube algorithm, you know, when he was talking, bro, I was learning, you know, and I, I've been doing this shit with fitness modeling and all that stuff and concert business. And I was learning from him. You know, he really puts in the work. He, he really figured out the whole algorithm. And I mean, it's major, just kind of like schoolboy did. You know, he was kind of the first guy to do that. You know, when you ever said arm wrestling, you know, until this day, I still get it. Oh, you know, actually, I had somebody over at my house not too long ago and uh, they were doing some work over here. And uh, as soon as they seen me with arm wrestling, they're like, you know, schoolboy. I was like, actually, I hang out with his brother. He's been at my house and all. But that was the first person that he mentioned. You know what I mean? And then I remember also hearing every Everybody thought schoolboy was the best arm wrestler on the planet you know just from all those videos in new york city with the 
with the table on on the streets and all. So I mean, he really was like the the first one to show us the formula, and then the whisper, you know, kind of did the same thing, and it's kind of like taking it to a whole nother level. So I mean, you don't even have to be the best arm wrestler; you just gotta know how to get yourself out there, you know, and be a little different than everybody. And I can't tell you know every person's different you know everybody's got their strengths you got to figure out what works for you and what separates you from the rest and that is what i always tell everybody and it was just so frustrating you know i started answering all these people back at first and then i just i, I finally gave up i was like if i got to keep explaining more than this then you guys are just not it you know but i just want to speak out you know to uh landon now you know i'm trying to teach him the ways and all uh Larray, I liked his answer back to me. Larray is a promoter. He understands things. So that that was pretty cool to see. And then um you know this recently we just had Austin Collins, you know, uh he hit me up and uh he was just like, "Yo, bro, I'm trying to get out there. I just did really good at the East versus West Challenger. I've been getting some some decent wins." He's like, "But I'm just not there with social media. Do you have any tips for me?" And I was so I was like, "Oh, wow, bro. This is this is really cool, you know. He he understands it." So, I gave him a couple tips. He went out there first, he messed up. Then I was like, "No, not like that, bro. You don't want to just blend in. You got to stick out." And then he went out and made this video. 15 minutes later, he got a match locked in with somebody ranked higher than him. Steve Loxon, I think they're doing it over in October, you know. So then, you know, after that, he's been calling me and texting me every day and like, what else should I do? So I gave him some more tips. So we're going to see, you know, a little experiment with this guy, Austin Collins. Keep your uh, your eyes out for him. He's going to be doing big things. He's going to be putting a lot of content out there. I'll be kind of showing him the way to do it. But that's the way to get out there. That's the way to land big matches. You know, it might take some time. You might have to go pull a few other matches, not as known and all, but, you know, you will eventually get there and people are going to want to see more of you. And then you're going to have all the organizations hitting you up. And uh, just like I have right here from Flash Pin Productions, Trey Johnson. I was about to say, Trey yep. blew me up and he said, go ahead and shout out to Landon. We got there you. you go. Let's go. You're on the next card. Let's come out January. We'll have another card. We'll get you a real fight against somebody out here in texas we'll talk weight class hit me up online we'll go from there boom there you go you see what i mean you didn't even have to get on the buzz yet bro we just buzzing about you and look what happens <laughs>